Hi everyone, this is Iris. Today I'm going to be showing you how I did my hair like this. It's very vintage looking. It reminds me of a specific picture that I found online and I'll post the link in the description box so that you guys can see what I was inspired by. I also did another look similar to this and I called it the Lucy ponytail and I'll put a link in the information box for that as well. But overall it's just these little pin curls on top of your hair and I think this look would be very darling on somebody with shoulder length hair who could curl their hair right at their shoulders. So I am using the Cortex 4-in-1 Clipless Curling Iron which I got from Flat Iron Experts. I'm using the 3 quarter inch barrel and all the products that you see me using in this video are also from Flat Iron Experts including the Infinity Hairspray and the Thermal Shine Heat Protectant. So to get started with the heat protectant you can spray it directly onto your hair if you'd like or you can use another method which is using a brush and spraying the heat protectant onto the brush and then smoothing that through your hair. Either way works but it's just up to you and whatever preference you have. I am starting to like to brush it through my hair. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to um, section the top part of your hair. The more straight the lines are, the better the look is going to be. Then you're going to section off the bottom part while you work on the top part. Here I'm going to start taking sections for my pin curls and I'm going to layer this into three tiers just because I have a lot of hair. If you only have, um, if you have thin hair you can do like two tiers um, it just depends. And then I'm just going to section the tiers out of the way and work on the front one first. So here I'm just grabbing a section of the hair that is going to be my pin curl and I'm wrapping it around the 3 quarter inch barrel. And the reason why I'm curling my hair first is because it's going to make it really easy for all of these little flyaways to be tamed and also it's going to make it super easy for me to curl this into a pin curl later on. So I went ahead, I did that, I just um, pinned it off to the side while I continued to work on each section. Now of course, the more hair you grab, the bigger the pin curl is going to be. So if you want smaller pin curls on top of your head, obviously you're going to grab less hair. Once you're done, you can get a pretty good idea of what the top of your head is going to look like. If you feel like it's too many, you can take some of them away. If you feel like it's not enough, and obviously you want to add some more. Then I'm just curling the rest of my hair and then just pinning it out of, I'm sorry, tying it out of the way. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and start creating my pin curls. Now all you're going to do is just roll it and then pin it with a couple of bobby pins in the position where you want it to be. Again, like I said, if you feel like the curls are too thick or too small, then make sure that you um, remove hair or add hair accordingly. Here you can see I'm adding some hairspray and this is going to help tame the flyaways and it's going to give each pin curl a much neater look. And I'm just going to pin it down with a bobby pin right in the back so you don't really see it or see the bobby pin. And I'm just going to continue with this method. Um, I wanted to remove this because it's kind of boring but I decided to leave it just so that you guys can see how I positioned each section in the front. If you want to fast forward, I wouldn't be mad at you. So just continuing on with each section, I'm just grabbing similar size sections and then pinning it. Another tip is you want to use the pin curls to hide kind of like the sections where the scalp shows. That way you don't have a lot of scalp showing up at the top. You also want to conceal the bobby pins as much as possible up at the top. You can use a mirror or you can have like a friend or family member help you. Next, I'm just going to take these sides and I'm going to spray them with hairspray and I'm going to brush them and pin them in the back. Now, what you can also do is you can use this section of the hair to hide that area where I'm showing the scalp. You see how I turned and you could see it. Um, I didn't think to do that until after I saw the video, but I would definitely use that as a tip for you guys. So go ahead and pin that down and then do the same thing on the other side and you can do kind of like a French twist with this little section to cover up the bobby pin on the other side and I'll show you guys what that looks like at the end. 
And once you're done with that, then you're pretty much done with the look. It's very vintage looking, very pinup-y, super cute for any event that you want to use this for. You can use it for prom, you can use it for a photo shoot, um, you can just use it for taking pictures in your bedroom. I mean, it's really cute. There's the French twist I was talking to you guys about. So you just add a flower and you're good to go. So hopefully this hairstyle inspired you guys to um, create your own or maybe just follow along and do this hairstyle. I am also going to be doing a video with makeup tutorial for how I prepared my face for this look. Once it's ready, you should see a link here um, what that you can click on or if not, there will be a link in the description box. So on to reading your comments. Congratulations on being first. Congratulations on being second. Congratulations to the random comment winner, which is Brown Magnolia. I will be contacting you soon for your price. And if you would like to see my previous video where I show you how to do these faux bangs, go ahead and click on the link here. I will also provide a link in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support.